Hi, hello, welcome to all my students in the winter semester of 2020 and 2021. Uh, I am addressing myself right now, especially to students with whom I will have the classes of microeconomics and uh, uh, principles of organization and management. So this video is an opening lecture for the semester for those two courses and uh, uh, the PowerPoint presentation which goes together with this video uh, has the same role. It is like an opening lecture as uh, this is a strange semester because uh, of the pandemic we are going very largely online. We want to stay safe. I make sure I can deliver my content online as much as possible. So if for any reasons either I miss a regular class or you, my students, miss a regular class, it is important to like stay in phase and stay in tune. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Krzysztof Waśniewski. I am assistant professor at the Andrzej Frycz Modrzewski uh, University in Kraków, in Poland. And as I said, this video is specifically addressed to the students of that university. Although uh, all the following videos in the same courses, in the same stream of teaching, can be used or can be beneficial to any other student or any other person, whoever wants to follow, essentially. So, we go into microeconomics and management. First of all, I explain uh, why uh, do I put those two courses together. Because uh, Essentially, I have two, group of major, two groups of majors to whom I teach microeconomics as a basic course in the first year undergraduate. It is the major of management on the one hand, and it is a group of majors uh, grouped in international relations or in a general category international relations. That second group of majors or the students from that second group of majors uh, have with me in that first semester of their studies two courses in parallel microeconomics on the one hand and uh, principles of organization and management on the other hand and this is why I uh, put together those two courses and I put an in emphasis on following them like in parallel let me enlarge that slide a little bit and make myself a little bit smaller. So the didactic purpose, let's say the teaching purpose from my point of view in both of those courses, so in microeconomics and possibly combined with the course of principles of organization and management, the teaching purpose is the same. It is to develop in my students uh, skills relevant to preparing a good business plan. If you have never prepared a business plan before, I want you after that semester of study with me to be able to develop a business plan, at least a simple one. If you have already had some experience with developing business plans, I want you to get better at it. So the business plan is essentially a vessel that you can, or a technique that you can use in many contexts. After all, if you plan, for example, some kind of social action, you can use the general form or the general frame of a business plan to pitch and plan uh, your concept to convince people to engage people in your project. So all the theory that we will be studying during the semester in those two courses, microeconomics and management, is supposed to be aligned on that central goal of developing skills in business planning. My take on the thing is that theory is a generalization of facts 
and you can truly understand any piece of theory when you have faced the facts that the theory talks about. If you don't know the facts, it's hard to understand the theory. Now, the assessment, because this is what usually students ask about. So, students graduate the course of microeconomics as well as, in the case of international relations, the combined courses of microeconomics and principles of organization and management. Students graduate those courses by preparing a research project. And those research projects are supposed to have a general form of a business plan precisely so you precise you prepare business plans to graduate these courses with me so the essential thing here is to apply a specific cognitive frame to the complex social activity of your choice now once again because i know that first year students are a little bit scared and they have all those sorts of questions, have I understood correctly? Students of major management prepare with me a business plan, a research project in the form of a business plan to graduate just the course of microeconomics. Students of international relations prepare in the same manner projects in the form of business plans to graduate two courses that they have with me. So the course of microeconomics and the course of principles of organization and management. Uh, now, one important thing, as we are talking about business plans and as I like staying very practical in my teaching. So besides the content that will be explicitly labeled as pertinent to the courses of microeconomics and management, I strongly recommend you, my students, to go through my basic course of business planning, which is available at the link visible here in the window. Don't worry, calm down. Uh, in the description box below the video, you have the same link, you, you have the link to a PowerPoint presentation where you can find this specific link to the course of business planning. Now, the curriculum and the form of teaching, especially as regards to that strange semester uh, of winter 2020-2021, we are in the world of epidemic restrictions, so we needed to adapt. So the basic form of online contact is a group set on uh, Microsoft Teams with, meeting, uh, with meetings scheduled as per your students' timetable. So if in your timetable you have a class with me scheduled, it means that we meet most of the times on Microsoft Teams. Each meeting on Microsoft Teams starts on the scheduled starting hour of the class, sharp, and lasts usually around 45 minutes, depending on the number of questions you have or on the number of topics I uh, feel like it is important to discuss. Uh, you can notice that in your timetables, those classes are longer than 45 minutes because it is a buffer. You are supposed to have online classes with many teachers, besides me, and we want to have that buffer in order not to overlap between uh, those online classes. So if you see in your timetable that our class is scheduled, for example, for three hours, it means that we simply have that buffer of time above 45 minutes. Now, individual contact with me. 
uh, you can contact me via email at the address that you can see here in the window and which of course is available in the PowerPoint presentation attached to this video. So the address is kvasniewski at afm.edu.pl and you can feel free to use this email in all kinds of individual issues. Uh, in case the officially scheduled classes on MS Teams are not sufficient or are cancelled, we can arrange new ones and in case MS Teams are, is unavailable for whatever reason, I can alternatively arrange online meetings on Zoom. I know that as you are first year students, you are very uncertain about those things, but you will see, you will get the hang of it. It is easier than you think. Now, your readings and resources. Uh, for both courses, both microeconomics on the one hand and the principles of organization and management on the other hand, I strongly recommend all my students to get a regular textbook. So any textbook which has e economics, microeconomics and respectively management written on the cover. Any regular textbooks in these two fields can do. I, I am, I'm not very choosy because anyway we're working on the fundamentals and the textbook is supposed to serve you to revise the fundamentals. Besides, you are welcome to use uh, my educational videos and presentations as well as all kinds of content, even casual content, which I place on my blog Discover Social Sciences. You can see the link here discoversocialsciences.com Once again, the link is in the PowerPoint presentation as active and possible to use. Now, a short explanation why uh, do we combine microeconomics and management, uh, especially for students of, of, of the majors grouped in international relations. Because those two disciplines, those two fields of social science are largely complementary to each other. Uh, let's say that we are all the time talking about the same essential phenomena. Excuse me. The same essential phenomena so about the way that business and organizations work. We just have two different points of view on how they work. In microeconomics, we focus rather on general patterns, like across the board and beyond and above all the local particularities and idiosyncrasies. So microeconomics are supposed to tell us how business and organizations work in general. Management science has a different approach. Management science is focused more on organizational performance and business performance. So the central question in management science is how to make an outstanding business, how to make a particularly efficient organization. So management science focuses more on precisely those local idiosyncrasies that microeconomics attempt to like put aside in its focus. Now the timing of your projects, because you know that you needed to prepare those business plans or your graduation projects for microeconomics or for microeconomics combined with management. So now the timing. Uh, by the end of October and beginning of November, as we are talking about the winter semester, so by the end of October and the beginning of November, I expect you to set up your topics, so to decide what will be the topic of your business plan, so what business concept you will be working on, and possibly to set your teams by that same moment, end of October, beginning of November. You can team up 
in groups of up to five students and those teams can work jointly on the same project. From December 1st on, uh, up until January 25th, we work at a pace of two week progress. So every two weeks, I want to see in my mailbox, which is visible here uh, as, as that address, which by the way, you know, so every two weeks, I want to see on my mailbox a uh, proof of progress from your part. So a draft version of your project or a link to that draft version with demonstrable progress every two weeks. So that makes you four drafts and the final version of the project as the fifth consecutive piece of work. For your drafts, you can use many alternative forms of expression. You can use regular documents, presentations, videos. You can use presentations in Prezi, for example. The final version of your business plan needs to have the form of a regular document. Uh, because in real life, when you will be preparing a business plan, at the end of the day, you need to squeeze all your ideas and your research on the topic into the form of a regular document. Uh, and now one remark. If you feel like adding a video to that document, if you feel that you can get across your ideas better, if you express yourself in a video, just place the link to the video in the document. Okay. And finally, the criteria of assessment. So something that students are very much interested in. I essentially use four criteria to assess your work. Demonstrable understanding of microeconomics or in the case of international relations of microeconomics and management together. The, the second criterion is completeness. It has to be a full business plan with all the components. If you go through that basic course of business planning, which I mentioned in my earlier slides, uh, you can understand what are those basic components of a business plan. The third criterion, the extent of your own research. When I see that you have really done your homework about the business concept you are working on, if I see that you can, that you have really done research and collected facts and sources, then it adds you points. And finally, timeliness and consistency of work. Uh, so if I say that you are supposed to deliver four drafts and a final version, it means four drafts and the final version at a pace of two weeks starting from December 1st. So this is very important in that form of assessment because essentially in your projects, maybe you will invent something radically new, but maybe not. Uh, so what I want to develop in you, my students anyway, is precisely that capacity to, er to carry out consistently a project a complex task over many, many weeks. And each of those four criteria has a weight of 25% in your final grade. So that would be about it in that introductory opening lecture to microeconomics and management. I hope we can uh, do it well together. And as in all my videos, I wish you to have fun with science and I wish you to have fun with life. Bye.